All right, so we got a concrete patio, stamp patio we're setting up here today. We're using the poly metaforms. These are, that, that's a rigid warm. These are flexible. So we're going to use a combination of both of them. And we're at least going to get the forms up today, get them staked, try to get it, get them set to grade today. And I don't know if we'll get anything else done today or not, but at least get the forms up out back here. Hey guys, so if you're looking for some flexible forms, if you're wondering like what to get, what to use, how to use them, I'm just going to walk you through this patio set up here today. We're actually, Dan and I are setting up this patio down below, and then we got a little walkway out front that I'll show you afterwards, um, <clears throat> after we had it all formed. But what I really like about these forms, you know, these guys, they're not paying me to, to do this video. They're not giving me any money, but they did, they did send me the forms and they wanted me to try them. And then just give you guys my opinion on them and we've used them a few times now and I, I really really like them one of the things I like about them is number one they're obviously really flexible at least the flexible ones are the rigid ones are nice and rigid but they're really lightweight I mean one guy could carry 10 forms 12 foot long forms pretty easily and what we're doing right now is you know we're just getting them slid together they slide together really easy and then the clamps they have a one, one certain type of clamp that goes on the seam where they slide together. And then they have another clamp that goes in between that kind of locks in. And you can put as many of those as you want in there. So we're getting started. What we, you know, the homeowners kind of drew out something rough on the ground. They kind of painted it out on the ground. And Darren and I are just going to try to follow that the best we can with the forms. The first form we're using right there is actually a rigid form. It was pretty straight right there. And then from that piece, we're going to stop bending it around, as you'll see. And what we've got is for clamps in places, we've already got the, the clamps, the, the stake pocket clamps on the seams. And then as we go, we're just, going to, we're just going to lock in the twist clamps and then stake it as we go so we, we can kind of hold them in place. That's what's really easy about this versus maybe using, try to use in uh, two by fours or plywood or maybe like Azac. We used to use Azac trim a lot and that stuff was really expensive. Um, and it was kind of almost, it, it was nice and flexible, but it was almost too flexible. You had to put a lot of stakes in it to hold it in the shape you wanted. With this stuff we notice is you can make a really good bend with it, but you don't have to use quite as many stakes to hold it in place. As you would something like uh, Azac trim board or PVC forms. As you can see, we're just going, you know, one clamp, one stake at a time as we work it around the bend. These will bend up to like a three foot radius, so they get quite a bit of flex to them. These two bends we're going to be doing right here aren't, aren't quite three feet, so these were actually pretty easy to do. And then, you know, we'll just Put it on the we'll try to put it on the painted line the best we can right there to make sure it still looks good stake it in place you can you can snug it up a little bit with the clamp too if you want and that also that little wedge right there that's used for setting it to grade too so you could lift the form up or down and wedge it to the stake and then that's going to hold it to grade so what we're doing right now is we're moving around these curves is we're just Trying to make, make them look good to eye by us and also get them close to where they painted them on the ground. And then, uh, you know, again, it's just one by one. Two guys, two guys can set uh, probably, I don't know how many lineal feet this was, probably 70, 70 lineal feet or so in about a total of, you know, 15 minutes once you have them down and, you know, all in place. I'll show you I'll show you at the end of the video just where to go to check these out and then you know maybe how to order them if you do want to order some but right now you know Darren and I are just getting these around we, you know we had an inside curve now I'm doing what's what I call an outside curve so kind of like an S curve right here and then we're gonna bring it just straight out through and I'll show you there's a couple ways you we could have attacked the end of this 
and I'll explain to you just why and how we attacked it the way we did versus maybe doing it another way. You can see how that's, that twists right in there, locks in tight. This is going to end up being a four inch stamp concrete patio. It's about just a little bit over a thousand square feet back here. Um, we're going to put up ISO strip against the foundation, which is kind of like a kind of like a thin foam piece of foam up against the foundation. We'll glue that on. I'm going to tie a mat of rebar in here. And then when it comes to pour day, we actually got to get a pump truck and we got to pump it over the house. We can drive in the driveway up front, but that's the only access. And then the pump truck's got to boom over the house into this. And that'll be on another video part, kind of like part two of this video. So as we're sliding that last one in place, you know, we got a decision to make. Do we want to curve that last one around that curve and behind Darren and towards the house? And then we'll have like a, about a three foot strip we got to fill in there. Or do we just want to let it go straight? And I actually had a like a nine foot two by four. And just I'll use some of that, that really uh, highly flexible PVC stuff I got right there just to finish the curve off. So there's a couple ways you could do that. We don't definitely don't want to cut these forms, so I don't want to I don't want to bend that around, run two feet short, and then cut one to fit in there, you know. And then if I did bend it around, then I got the I got the two little prongs that come out of the end of it that where another one would slide into it. Um, and I didn't really feel like buttoning a two by four up to those prongs and just having a gap there, so we decided just to use a two by four on that end and then run some of that other flexible stuff we had. So a couple different ways you can attack that. But you can see the nice basic curve and how smooth that curve is. So right now, what I like most is, you know, the lightweight, how flexible they are, how easy they are to put together, and the learning curve on how to, how to use these things is really, really easy. So very, very DIY, easy to use. Now what we're doing is, you know, we're just putting the matter rebar in here, just getting it prepped for pour day. We'll use a, a three foot mat of rebar. We're using the fiberglass rebar inside this. And then we'll also put fiber mesh in the concrete when we pour it. We'll use a 4,000 PSI concrete. And this gives you a good idea of the basic setup. They're gonna have a hot tub in this first section right up here where that little gray pipe is sticking up out of the dirt. And then the rest of that will just be like patio area. And then here's the up top part. And we use the, mo you know, for the most part, we use the flexible forms up here too. And this will, you know, come back and see part two so you can see us pour this right here. All right, guys. So if you want to check out these poly metaforms, I just wanted to show you how to get there. So first thing you do is just go to Google, type in poly metaforms, hit go. That brings you to here. Click on poly metaforms, and that brings you to their website right here. So <clears throat> here, here are the straight and rigid ones. Here's the flexible Here's the hardware that we're using. This is everything you saw in the video. They come in four inch and six inch heights. They're all 12 foot long. We, we're just using the four inch ones. And there's the little clamps that click into the back of the forms. You can put as many as you need in there. Um, and that's the forms we're using right there. And this is where you go to get them. So another cool thing on here I saw was their their video library. And in the video library, you know, it obviously has videos of all kinds of stuff that they sell and how they use them. And then if you go down here a little bit further, you'll see they got curb and gutter forms if you guys are into that. How to order the flat work forms. And then your beginner's guide to flat work, you know, and it basically go, goes right through how to use these forms to set up a patio just like the one I just did. So if you want to if you want to check these forms out, just go to polymetaforms.com and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.